This particle project was switched on today. Where are all the grown-ups? All our teachers hid from us. It was so cool. Jeffrey, my brother, he's got cerebral palsy. I've got Doomsday Dora's message on here. Hey. You'll see. No, you'll see when I tell the others about you and your pranks. We must travel to the Spartacle Project. The future of the world lies within your hands, children. You're not having it. You don't believe me. But it's evidence of what happened to the adults. We need to see it. Please. Yeah, show us your evidence, Reese. We could do it the laugh. Arctic fox to snow goose. Mother duck to Arctic goose, fox trot. It's bath time. Fly, snow goose, fly! Reese, come back here. must travel to the Spartacle Project and realign our dimension with your dimension. We'll be working hard on our parallel planet, and you must do the same on yours. I tried to warn them, but no one believed me. I knew that the energy produced when the machine was switched on was going to be boosted to far higher energies, bigger, stronger, much, much more powerful. I will help you all I can in your great and noble quest. Goodbye. Good luck. And see you at the quantum portal. That was a great short film, Cat. Rubbish quality, but she was good. Got any more? Liam, that was a real message from a real person. Dora recorded it before they turned on the biggest machine in the world, which made all the adults disappear. Who did she try to warn? Why didn't they listen? Excuse me, quantum portal? Quantum portal, it's, it's where our dimension and the adults' dimension will meet. Oh, well, Buzz Lightyear be there. <laughs> this is serious. Listen. You must travel to the Spartacle Project and realign... Must be the electricity. I'll go and check. So, if we do go looking for the Spartacle project, where would it be? The location is top secret. It could be anywhere. London, Manchester... I'm not walking to Manchester! What are we going to do when we get there? Wherever it is. There's not going to be a big button saying, press here to bring your parents back. Dora will tell us what to do. If you think I'm listening to you... It's the main supply. It's failed here. Probably has everywhere else as well. The water will probably go next and then... Who knows, but... We need adults to fix it. I want mummy. My dad. I'm all he's got. It must be the same for the parents without us. So, who votes that we go to the Spartacle Project to bring the adults back? OK, so I'll draw up a short list of who goes and who stays to look after Liam and Frankie. Uh, so you're in charge now, are you? Oh, cos you can find the Spartacle Project, can you? If you can, I can. Who wants to have some fun? Again, the challenge is to sort out a power supply for the hotel. Sadiq and Kat are team leaders. Whoever wins gets to lead the questers to the Spartacle Project. Deal? Good. No shake on it. Kat, we have a proposition for you. We've got information. A secret weapon to win the challenge with. Steaks offered to teach us to drive. Beat that, and the information's yours. Sorry, I already have a plan. We'll sell our information to Sadiq. Go ahead. You play your driving instructor games. That'll keep Sadiq busy while I'm on the way to the Spartacle Project. I know where to go. <laughs> Let's get going. Wait, we haven't picked our teams yet. Oh, too slow. <laughs> I've got my team. Laters. Wait for me! 
Your necklace, it hurts my head. It's like she has a sixth sense or something. Holly thinks she's taking you for a mug. <laughs> We've lost then, haven't we? I saw these scientists on telly once and they built this huge hamster wheel and they uh, ran in it to create electricity. Yeah, well, anyway. Can't you just hear me out for once? I've got things to contribute to, you know. Like what? Like, I do loads of stuff, don't I? Liam? Frankie? OK, well, me and Amy are going to go and get the equipment. Why don't you, uh, look after these two? You can manage that right here. <sighs> hey, Liam. Fancy some ice cream? Madam, is the penthouse suite available? For you, madam, we have the mega penthouse. It's even sweet. Uh, ooh. Oh, that wasn't a rat, right? You're such wussy. Fear not. Super Jeff will protect you. You're not super. Of course I am. Look. I can fly. Jeff, no! <laughs> oh, Jeffrey! It's him! Check him for concussion. Let's get him back in the death bill. I can talk for myself, you know. Calm down. Calm down! What were you thinking? Back off! You can't wrap me in cotton wool. Lads, Jeffrey's fine. So let's go win that challenge, OK? Come on. Come on then, Dynamo. Do your stuff. <sighs> I need more bikes and more peddlers. Liam! Frankie! I've got a new game! Maybe we should go now, Frankie. T will be in a mood. Turbines should solve all our problems. You sure you know what you're doing? Frankie! Liam! I thought they were with you. So did I. Here it is. Grandad's house. a miner in that gold mine in South Africa and the one in Yorkshire. Said it finished him off. Hey, enough of the garden tour. How do you get to the garage? Follow me. Usual. 
Ta-da! The secret weapon for success. Solar panels, eco energy. Light bulb moment, Geordie. You meet Jeff on the quest. It'll be pretty cool. Oh, come on. How can Jeffrey go? Your brother's tougher than you think. We're not going. Either of us. What are you doing? That's private. Every photo of Jeffrey, you're there too. Like he can't manage without you. Or you can't manage without him. Since I was a kid, all Mum and Dad ever said was, we need your help to take care of Jeff. I didn't mind. Not really. But now it's all up to me. What if something happens to him? Something happened to Jeffrey? Think about it. Who drugs Nita out the lab full of gas? Where are you? Frankie, Liam! No one knows we're down here, Frankie. And the light. All the powers we can't see. Can you hear me? It's a hypoglycemic episode. A kid at school has them. I saw it. The light. She's doing it again. There's nothing here. But it's right there. Cute catch, 2008. Mine, 1957. The magic mine. The what? The Victorians called it the magic mine. Luminite was only ever found in one place, the Black Tor Mine in Yorkshire. Reese felt its presence, just like she saw Anita's pink child's hat. You tipped Reese off. You and Jordan told her where your grandma's stupid rock was. Why would you do that? If you were running some sort of hoax. But you saw what it did, Holly. Yeah, so? Some crystals reflect light. Look. We have a real problem we need to solve. We don't have time for this crazy stuff. She's not crazy, Sadiq. Well, then maybe if she didn't act like it. We're going, now. What about the rock? Any light is good light. Bring it along. Hey, what's wrong? Can you see me now? Yeah, who else would wear those shoes? Fancy a trip underground? Yeah. Tia! It's the SAS! What the? How is it still on? Combi Mega Gas Boiler. It's so heavily insulated, the heat keeps circulating. Incredibly efficient. One of those can save thousands of your heating bills. 
My dad's got a plumbing business. So how do we make it stop? We can't. It's powered by gas, but controlled by electricity. The controls failed because of the power cut, and now... Now it's running away with itself. So basically, it's still heating up? Basically, yes. We have to climb out. We need to stop this thing blowing up. We need the D. No time. We've got to solve this ourselves. Sadiq. Callum. What you got there, then? <laughs> what am I saying? Doesn't matter what you've got. We're going to take it anyway. You gang, Callum. Did you ever not realise what an idiot you are? Survival of the fittest. Only the best in my gang. Where's Kat? I miss her. Jeffrey! Minus lamp plus luminite equals job done. That's brilliant, Jeffrey! What can I say? I'm the heroic type. Nice one, bro. This will work. The ice cream should cool the boiler down. enough for now. Good, because that was the last chocolate log. Have we fixed it yet? No, but we've bought some time. But not much, because once the ice cream's melted, then the temperature will rise and it'll blow up. Right, Amy? Uh-huh. Okay, but it's time to go. You first, Liam. Okay, Frankie, you're next. Do you remember when you were three and you climbed on top of the wardrobe? Do you remember that? <laughs> Sadiq thought it was so funny he ran to get me. He was right. Your mum coaxing you down with a jam donut. Never laughed so much in my life. You were a scrambler, Frankie. It's a scramble. Hey, Amy, you're next. Easy for you. Someone's got to go and get power, and someone's got to let you know if it's working. I know about this stuff, and I can scramble out in a second. Are you sure about this? I signed up for an adventure, didn't I? Here. I'll have this walkie-talkie. You use Frankie's. I'll give you a regular update on the boiler. I reckon I can pretty much work out to the minute how long you'll have, and I can buy you every last second you need. It's stable, but the ice cream's melting quickly. Tell Kat to get the turbines turning. So you play with the little kids. Maybe you have got something to contribute? Yeah, and so have you, Kat, because if you haven't found a way to power up this hotel, soon there won't be a hotel. I can see you up there having a mother's meeting. Get a move on! There's a boiler down there and she's about to blow. We've got to find a way to get the power back on now. OK, let's go find the others. So basically, we won. What happened to you? Four solar panels, that's not going to help. Listen, we've got an emergency. Better than that, we've got luminite. Don't worry, it's not contagious. I don't care. Oh, bad loser. It magnifies light, sound. And Reese, apparently. Listen to us! Shut <laughs> Thank you. This is an emergency. The hotel boiler's about to explode unless we make enough power to make it cool down. Sadiq, we need to work together. Yeah, let's go. Around the back. Hello, who's here? What's happening? Got you 
it's no goose. The boiler's heating up. I'm out of powder pops. And remember, when I say blow, she's gonna go. Bring me that cable. Arctic Fox to Snow Goose. Ten minutes. Ten minutes of the goose is cooked! There's no sun. No wind either. That's not enough. 90 seconds, hurry up! One minute, Amy, we're working on it. We've got power, but the wattage is too low. We haven't generated enough electricity. Then we'd better get out of here. There's only seconds left. Time's running out. Blow, blow, blow! I've fallen. I can't move. Hold on! We can't leave him! But we're all going to get blown up. No! Come on! Get him out of there! Base dead! Base dead! Illuminate! Oh, God! That's him! That's it! That's it. That's it. See now that you'd be as good on the quest as anyone. Yeah, but I'm not going. You are. What? Everyone else is taking responsibility for the first time. But you've always had to be a grown up. I've never minded that. <laughs> Maybe you should have. So go. Save the world. Have fun. Be a kid again. <laughs> About time, isn't it? Anyway, you do. Thank you. I have something to say. We have a development. Mm, why do I feel nervous? Reese and I think that we have worked out where the Spartacle project is. It's in the Luminite mine. 
You think the Spartacle project is in Grandad's mine? Black Tor? Well, most Spartacle accelerators are underground, so a mine would be ideal. Dora said she knew that the Spartacle project's energy would be boosted massively, but no one listened. So the scientists turned on the machine and, well, kind of went a bit wrong. The luminite in the walls around the machine boosted its energy, just like our lump magnified the megaphone and the light in the tunnel. I get it. That's why the Victorians called it the magic mine. Because luminite magnifies energy, light, heat, sound, the lot. Wow! Imagine a whole mine of the stuff! Kapow! Yeah, I'd buy the Spartacle project being in the magic mine. Sounds wicked. Let's start packing for the quest. Well, I'm confused. Who won the challenge? It was a group effort. We luminite. We magnified each other. <laughs> A vote, my fellow Spartacles. All in favour of Kat and Sadiq as joint leaders of the team to go to the Spartacle project, the Questers, and Tia and me to stay here back at the ranch, head of the ranchers. <laughs> yeah. Um, where's Tia? Kat, you said you take care of me. I know, but... She would take much better care of you and Frankie than I ever could. We're going to bring your mum back. We're going to bring all your mums and dads back. I promise. So, how are we going to get to the Spartacle project? Not on that, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.